Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impression on the Hang on. Okay, let's start that again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a first impression on the new not it's not new on the RCMA no color powder. I've been hearing a lot of things about this powder. The hype fully came back um about a year ago, but apparently Wayne Goss had been using it for a long time and I watched a couple of his videos. So I decided hunt it down and give it a try and test it out on camera. So I'm gonna be doing the first impression on this baby right here. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And also, yo, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Why not subscribe while you're here? And once to subscribe click that notification bell button next to it as well so that we can be notified every time i upload a video i upload videos twice a week on makeup product reviews i love doing product reviews particularly foundation reviews so if you have any suggestions feel free to comment that down below all right so if you're interested in what you see in this first impression keep on watching this video hey guys i'm back so as you can see i've only done my brows and i just applied foundation and the foundation i have on is the elego pro coverage hd high definition long wear illuminating foundation <gasps> foundation and as you can see it's very illuminating so um yeah i decided that's the best thing to choose just kind of see how this works for it so basically rcma themselves mentioned they said let's just go to the website so they said um RCMA loose powders are a staple in the industry and should be a part of every pro makeup artist kit. RCMA powder will keep your foundation set and dry without caking. Our no color powder can be used for all powdering purposes. Since it has no filler or pigment, it will not alter the color of the foundation basis. So, we're going to test that out, okay? Um, generally, I use my Black Opal um, Deluxe Finishy Powder in medium or dark, depending on the kind of color foundation that I use. Generally, I use those to set my foundation. Um, but we are gonna set the foundation using the RCMA no color powder and what upon watching um, Wayne Goss's video he used a powder puff I don't really have a soft powder puff but I have something that I've been using for a while now to kind of just you know set my foundation so this is what I'm gonna use so this is the packaging of the RCMA no color powder if you haven't seen it already and it comes with a with holes at the top where the powders will come out of that sounds really wrong. So I'm just gonna open it and just remove the seal. It comes sealed. Oh, wow. Eh, nice. Let me just see. First impression. It's a very fine powder. It's kind of almost like flour, but it seems finer than flour. Do you know what I mean? And by the way, guys, for those that don't know, RCMA also has translucent powder. I've been noticing that a few people on YouTube have been getting them mixed up. This is the no color powder, which is it's a fine pigment, but the translucent powder, I'm guessing, will be a fine pigment. So uh, they, they are very different. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I, I've been seeing a lot of people mix that up. All right, so the powder is very, very fine. Wow. Okay. Nice. All right. I'm just going to. Let's put the cap back on. I'm just gonna put some in my hand. This is where I saw Wayne Ghost do, so I'm following his um technique here. The powder is very, very fine. Let me bring it closer. All right, I think that's better. Oh, I should have done that a while ago. Anyway, so this is the powder. So this is it. As you can see, like it looks really, really fine. Oh my goodness. And I'm just rolling the powder puff in it and I'm dusting it off. I'm doing the exact same thing that Wayne did in the video because I watched someone else's video and they look like a ghost. So I'm trying not to let that happen to it because, you know, I'm a black girl and um, even though they're saying it's not going to alter the foundation, I don't really know if they did it with black people in mind. So, yeah. I'm going to show you my arm. Um... See, there's still stuff on the part of it. I've got mail. I had to put the blind down. Oh, oh, the sugar. Oh, no, no, no. I think I just have to. Oh, okay. So I keep going, it keeps disappearing. Well, I think it's altering my foundation, but it's mattifying there, which is good. Oh, in a way, I feel like I'm kind of setting my foundation the way Patrick Starr sets his foundation. But you know, he goes. wanted to do that to be honest <laughs> all right focus on me oh this is definitely altering my foundation all right i just finished using the entire thing on my hair all right let me just i can go over my brow as well because i've set that bad boy it's not moving you know what i should have done one side and left the other 
But guys, do you feel like my face look different? Did it alter the color? Actually, I don't think it did. I think it kind of gave me the same... Mmm. If it gave me the same effect my Black Opal Deluxe Energy Powder gives me, doesn't that mean it altered it a bit? Hmm. No transfer. Oh, wow, my face feels... Oh my god, my face feels so... Usually when I set my foundations with my Black Opal Deluxe Energy Powders, I, you know, when I touch my face, I can kind of see the um, pigment of the powder in my hand. But, yo, this, there ain't nothing coming off, man. Like, nothing. Oh, my God. Alright, so now that I've um, overdid it with highlight, I don't know, the thing just kept spreading and spreading and spreading. I'm not going to set it. And I'm not sure if I should bake. I think I'm going to bake on one side and I'm going to bake on the other. Just kind of see what this powder will give me, you know what I'm saying? It feels very, it feels really fine on my face, man. I wonder if it's going to brighten the concealer. Yeah, I'll bake on the hair as well, why not? But this one, I'm just going to dab it in while wiping it off at the same time. You know, not bake. It looks like it's brightening it, doesn't it? Well, it definitely does alter it. But it's set it, man. Like, even while still setting it, I can feel it's set already. Okay, it's definitely set my under eye concealer, which is great. Alright guys, so I'm done with the rest of my makeup. I honestly don't really know what to say about this powder. Honestly? Oh, wait, on the bottle they did say that it will set your makeup with a flawless finish and won't cause flashback. So, I guess now... I'm going to take a photo once again and see if there is any flashback. Well, that's cool. There's no flash. Come on, focus. There's no flashback, which is good. Ah, okay, yeah. So this powder, I would say, is true to what they said. I like it. I'm still going to have to keep testing it to see, you know, what else it can do. But so far, so good. It made me feel like I dumped my face in water for flawless foundation finish. If you watch my Korean beauty hack video or Korean beauty trick video, you know what I'm talking about. It's basically like diving your face in water after you've applied your makeup for flawless foundation finish. And that's how this powder, that's the effect this powder gave me when I set my foundation. And also when I set my highlighted area almost instantly it gave me that smooth finish so I do agree what Wingo said I think because I'm so used to doing the baking with my Bang Nye powder and whatnot like I just kind of I felt like something was a bit off so I think it would take some getting used to all right guys thanks so much for watching now if you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're subscribed already don't forget to do so before you click out this video and whatever you do you're able to love yourself and shout out to Tammy Tammy Clark you guys you guys need to go and check out our YouTube channel she's the bomb diggity I don't know if anyone says that anymore I think I've just made things up for now but it doesn't really matter we're just gonna let it go you know what I'm saying yeah we're gonna do. but shout out to tammy here she is right here make sure you go and check out her youtube channel and oh what did i say yeah you know what i said already i think things are getting a little bit awkward now i think it's getting a little bit too hot so my brain's kind of getting a little bit fried so i don't really know what's happening i'm kind of looking all over the room like i'm high but i'm not high i'm only high on jesus i'm high on life and high on highlight yes i am bye 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 let's just stop this now before shit get worse